Hey guys, we have decided to join the raised bed craze. Now, as you guys are aware, if you watch our channel any at all, you are aware that we grow all kinds of plants here on our home place, which is where we have our nursery. And we also grow our own vegetables, or we have started growing some of our own vegetables. And we're gonna build a couple of raised bed frames out here in our garden today. And the folks at LandGuard have been kind enough to send us a couple of these frames to try out. And we're looking forward to sharing them with you today. Now we got our first raised bed put together and just kind of as we were putting it together and working through the process here, a couple of things that I noticed that are worth mentioning. First of all, is that this is made out of stainless steel, it galvanized, and as such, you're not ever gonna have to worry about this thing breaking down and you know falling apart on you like you would a, a raised bed made out of wood or something like that. So that is obviously a plus. You know, there's a lot of these things floating around in the world today with a lot of different colors and a lot of different looks. And if you check out Landguard's website, they've got a lot of different shapes and sizes and depths of these. So this is just one that we chose to go with. But, you know, something that's really, really a good feature on these is that this thing will be good for 10, 20, 30 years. And you just don't have to worry about it falling apart and ever having to rebuild it. Another point worth mentioning here as is that at least this model with this galvanized reflective metal on it, you know, it's not going to get hot, like hot to the touch. So, you know, internally on a really hot day, the sun, you know, if this is a dark color or some sort of color that is absorbing heat, it's going to really heat up the soil in there on a hot day and probably get the soil in there hotter than you want it. And that's one thing that I noticed about this is that it's reflective and it's bright, shiny. So, you know, this corrugated metal is, it, it's going to, have not so much a cooling effect, but really an anti-overheating effect. And that's a good feature also. And when we were putting this together, my wife actually pointed this out and it was something that I thought was worth mentioning for the good as well. And that is that these edges, now this is sheet metal. So, you know, edges on these can be sharp and I mean sharp enough to cut you, you know, pretty good. But the edges here, where you'd actually be working over, leaning over working in your bed, you know, you can hit these and rub your hands on them and, you know, they've been folded over and smooth and they're not sharp at all. And there's virtually no way to cut yourself on these top edges. And that is also a really good thing. Now, another thing that's worth mentioning is this particular one that I got is huge. I mean, it's four feet by eight feet by two feet deep. So it's gonna take a lot of material to fill this raised bed up. And, you know, one of the features here is this bracing system in the middle. And, you know, it's got these adjusters on it here and on each end. So when you're putting it together, you can get the, the distance of it put together, the width of it put together how you want it to be done. But as much material as it's gonna to take to fill this up, you know, it's gonna be pushing outward on it quite a bit. And this bracing is gonna hold everything together and keep it from flopping apart on you, or in the meantime, keep it from imploding on you. So that's really good as well. We are gonna be using this bed to grow any number of things in, but one of those is vegetables and that type of thing, tomatoes, who knows what. So filling this bed up is gonna allow a lot of square footage and a lot of volume and depth for root growth. So, you know, there's really not anything that we wouldn't be able to grow in here. So all good things. Now, as far as assembling this, in the very beginning of the video, you saw the box that this started in. It was only about two inches thick, that box was. So it's a very tight, compact box. And one thing that I would say about assembling this, there's nothing hard about it at all. So if you're a person who has trouble assembling things, this is not hard at all to assemble, but you will need an extra pair of hands. So having, having two people to do the job is gonna make it way easier to do. Just somebody to hold things in place while somebody puts the screws in. There's a lot of screws, but they all do the exact same thing. And as far as that goes, it's not hard, but you'll need some help assembling it. But once you get it put in place and get all put together, it's pretty sturdy and it's a really nice and big raised bed. So it's gotten late in the evening, getting our first bed put together. I'm hungry, so we're gonna put the next bed together tomorrow morning. Well, all right, folks, we got both of them put together now. We put this one together in about 40 or 45 minutes. The second one, this one took a little over an hour to get it put together, but we kind of figured out what we were doing and it went really fast. You know, one of the things that I noticed is, you know, when things don't line up exactly right, there's enough give that you can get everything to line up right pretty easily. So assembly is no problem as you got, as long as you've got two sets of hands to help out. All went together really, really easy. 
Well, all right, guys, these are raised beds by Landguard. All shapes, sizes, and colors. Make sure you check out their website. There's a link in the description below, again, with a 10% off discount code. So give them a look. Check them out if you're interested in getting into raised beds yourself. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you on the next one.